Hello and welcome to Designer How. Back again with another one for you. Let's get into it. We've got our footage on the timeline and we want to add a cool glitch effect to it. Duplicate the clip by holding Alt and dragging the clip above the original. We'll go into Effects and type Strobe, then drag the Strobe Light effect onto our copied clip. In Effect Controls, we'll put Strobe Duration at 1.10. It will now create a strobe effect by flashing white consistently. Just trust me on this, though. I don't want you guys coming to my house throwing bricks through my window because I gave you an epileptic attack. We'll keyframe random strobe probability at zero at the beginning of the clip and create a keyframe with the value of 100 for the last frame. The strobes have now become random and unpredictable. Set strobe to makes layer transparent and create some offset by shifting the upper clip forward on the timeline a little. We already have some glitchy business going on, but we'll definitely want to keep this glitch party going. So go into Effects, type VR, and drag VR chromatic aberrations onto the timeline. You can leave this one as is, and it will add a cool color effect to the glitch. Optionally, we can go back into Effects and drag the black and white effect onto our top layer. In Effect Controls, drag this so that it is positioned in between strobe light and chromatic aberrations. The contrast between color palettes adds another dimension to our glitch effect. Let's scroll up to Motion in Effect Controls and up the scale a little. Again, we're going for contrast, as you see. This time it flips between different sizes. I've made the offset between clips a little smaller, and this is what we have so far. And of course, you can drag out or shorten the top layer to change the duration of the effect. Lastly, we can add some digital glitch to our effect just for flavor, though this is entirely optional. See what best suits your project. Under Effects, drag VR Digital Glitch onto your top layer. Scroll to VR Digital Glitch in Effect Controls and open Distortion. These are the distortion settings I went with ultimately. You can copy what's on the screen or just play around with these settings. Tweak them until you reach your desired result. Scrub the timeline to wherever you want the digital glitch to occur and create a keyframe for master amplitude. Its value is zero by default. Then scrub ahead slightly and create another keyframe with the value of 100. Repeat this process for how long you want the effect to last, or just copy by holding Alt, then dragging and dropping the keyframes. We'll scroll up to Position and create a keyframe that matches the first one for amplitude. It will be created with the value as it is by default. Then for the next keyframe, again match the timeline to the one below and adjust to a random position. Repeat this process until all position keyframes match the ones for amplitude on the timeline. On top of scaling, the glitch will now throw the image off position as well, adding to the chaos. Finally, on the first frame of the effect, we'll create a keyframe for distortion rate with a value of 14, and then on the last frame we'll set a keyframe that puts the value back at zero. And that's really all there is to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick guide for an eye-catching glitch effect. Like and subscribe for more tutorials like this, and as always, catch you all on the next one.